welcome to this video in this video we'll be looking at topic one matrices this is only paper two and i want you to be conversant with them right now uh, just you finish watching this video you must be able to solve any question on the matrices no matter how they have twisted it so given that the determinant of the matrix this matrix that is 10 find the value of x and the inverse of the matrix a now how do uh, what's the determinant the determinant is just the difference between the product of these and the product of these so determinant this is the one of a is equal to 2x minus 1 times negative 2 minus 4 times 1. Now we have this determinant that is negative 10. So we are saying negative 2 times positive 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. This is negative 4. This will give us negative 10, the determinant. So I'm just I'm just from expanding here. Next is you collect the like terms. How do you collect the like terms? So this is negative 4x. When you add here, you're going to have negative 2 equal to negative 10. Then this will give us negative 4 x equal to negative 10 this will go this side now to come positive 2 negative 4 x will be equal to these are different signs so we subtract and you get a sign from the bigger number this will be negative 8 we divide now both sides by negative 4 so our final answer x is equal to this is negative and negative that's positive 4 into 8 give you 2 the answer is 2 so now your new matrix your new matrix now is this this is how your new matrix will look well there's x here we put 2 so 2 times 2 4 minus 1 I have 3 there we have 1 I have 4 I have negative 2 so this is your new matrix but the answer is here so in the second part here you use this new matrix the inverse now the inverse is just inverse is equal to one over determinant of a times the matrix now now the matrix is the other under the inverse you are going to these you are going to swap them so negative two come here then three will go there this you change signs this is positive becomes negative 4 this is positive it becomes negative 1 like that you can even leave it there but we need to put the value of determinant there which is 1 over negative 10 negative 2 negative 1 negative 4 3 you have to multiply now 1 over 10 times negative 2 it will be negative 2 over negative 10 this times that that would be negative 1 over negative 10 this times this that would be negative 4 over negative 10 and this times that that would be 3 over negative 10 then the final answer will be sorry final answer will be this can be divided 2 into 2 1 into 10 5 negative and negative they cancel negative and negative they cancel we have 1 over 10 negative negative they cancel 2 into 4 2 2 into 10 5 here we can divide anything so just leave it the way it is now this is your answer let's look at the second question so i got this from different years maximum four years so this will be very very effective on you pay attention another one is like the previous one the determinant has been given as 8 find the value of x so this will be x times 8 so you are saying 
determinant of q is equal to 8 times x minus x minus 4 times 12. Let's now expand this. 8 times x is 8x. Negative, we can leave this thing here. Now 12 times x is 12x. 12 times negative 4, you get negative 48. 48. This is 8x. Negative in times that, you get negative 12x. Negative times negative, that's 40, 48. Now this is equal to 8, the determinant. So this is, this now we can subtract them. They are, they are different signs, but we, you get the sign from the bigger number. So it should be negative 4x equal to 8. This will go to the other side, becomes negative 48. Give me negative 4x equal to negative 40 over negative 4 over negative 4. So when you eliminate that, you're going to have x equaling to this and this you cancel to 10. Your new matrix. Your new matrix is now is like, looks like this. 8, 12. Where does x we put 10? You are going to have 6. And there we put 10. There it is the new matrix that we have to use for the second part. The answer is this. Show all the steps I'm showing. Part 2. The inverse. The inverse would be 1 over 8. Now since we have a new matrix, these they swap. So 10 goes there, 8 goes there. These they change signs. So negative 6, negative 10. We can now multiply. Not 10, sorry. 12. This will be 10 over 8. That would be negative 12 over 8. That would be negative 6 over 8. That would be 8 over 8. Our final answer now will be this I can divide. I know 2 can go into 10 5 times, into 8 4 times. I know 2 can go into 6 3 times, into 8 4 times. I know 2 can go, I know 4 can go into 12. How many times? No, three times. Or into eight? Two times. And you know eight and eight, they can divide one another. And this becomes the inverse of the matrix. Given that matrix K is this. Find the determinant K of K and the inverse. Here we are finding the determinant. So determinant... These are the symbols for determinant of k is equal to 10 times negative 2 minus. You always start with this. Don't confuse yourself when you go in the exam. Then 11 times negative 2. This will be negative 20. Negative, you first multiply what is in brackets. It's negative 22 negative 20 negative and negative positive 2 2 2 so determinant of the matrix k we these are different signs so we subtract we're going to have two then two the inverse the inverse will be one over determinant now since we have the already the matrix there we can just uh, these they swap so we're going to have negative two here we're going to have 10 there all these they change signs. This is positive, becomes negative. This is negative, becomes 11. Becomes positive too. We have something like that. So, we can now multiply throughout. That would be negative 2 over 2. That would be 2 over 2. That would be negative 11 over 2. That would be 10 over 2. Then we can conclude by saying our final answer will be negative 1 when I divide to be 1 there here I'll leave it the way it is I can't divide
then here I'll put 5. That's all in this video. I'll see you in the next video.